our dear rector and parish priest, the Reverend Fathers, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. First, I want to say thank you for this pastoral visit, which for me was surprising because we have been neighbors for 15 years. And among all the churches in Linga and Dagupan, I really thought the Cathedral Parish was the least among the, le among the list of parishes to be visited because I am most familiar with this cathedral. But some things have to be done. As I explained to the Pastoral Council, tomorrow the bishops, next year rather, the bishops make a report to the Holy Father, Pope Francis, about the situation of our country. And my pastoral visitation, official pastoral visit to the Cathedral Parish will certainly be part of the report. And I am sure the Pope will be very delighted to hear what I will write about the Cathedral Parish. And for this, I am very grateful. But let us look at our pastoral visitation, this time from the light of the Word of God. I have a question to ask you. What is the difference between forgive and excuse? When somebody is forgiven, is that person also excused? Or when somebody is excused, is that person also forgiven? I would like to tickle your mind by telling you, never in scriptures do we refer to God as the one who excuses. But God always forgives. Because there is a difference between excuse and forgiveness. There is a big difference. Do you remember Peter denied the Lord three times? When Peter and the risen Lord met, what did the Lord ask Peter? Did the Lord say to Peter, It's all right. Did the Lord say to Peter, I understand. Did the Lord say to Peter, I knew you were just weak. Did the Lord say to Peter, Natakot ka lang. No. What did the Lord ask Peter? He did not even ask Peter, Are you sorry? The Lord only asked Peter, do you love me? Do you love me? Forgiveness loves. Unfortunately, excuses just cover up. An amnesty can be forgive, can be excuse, but it is not necessarily forgiveness. Sa Tagalog siguro, mas maliwanag. Ang excuse ay palusot. Ang forgiveness ay patawad. Ang ibig sabihin ng palusot, pinalampas na lang. Ang ibig sabihin ng patawad, sinabing masama, ginawa mo ang masama, pero patuloy ang pagmamahal. At dahil patuloy ang pagmamahal, patuloy ang pagbibigay ng bagong pagkakataon. I speak of excuses, I speak of forgiveness, and I speak of love. What did the widow do in the gospel? She could have excused herself by saying, Mahirap lang kami. Like the widow in the first reading, pwede niyang sabihin, Wala na kaming kakainin bukas. Pwede nating sabihin, Tao lang. Pwede nating sabihin, ay sorry, nakalimutan ko. Pwede nating sabihin, nagmamadali lang ako, hindi ko napansin. Ang lahat ng ito, excuses. And the widow had a right for many excuses. She was alone in her life, nobody to help her. She was poor, she had nothing in her pocket. 
But, my dear brothers and sisters, remember this. God saves us by love, not by excuses. He saves us by loving us. And because He loves us, He forgives. If you love and you only offer excuse, ang tawag sa'yo, hindi mapagmahal, konsintidor. Sapagat ang tunay na nagmamahal, sinasabing mali yan. Subalit ang tunay na nagmamahal ay magmamahal pa rin at sasabihin sa'yo, Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? I say it again, my dear brothers and sisters. Love does not excuse. Because excuses just tolerate evil. Excuses do not correct. Excuses cannot redeem. Excuses cannot save souls. The widow in the gospel is praised because she refused to offer excuses and chose to offer love. On the other hand, the Pharisees and the leaders of religion in the first part of the gospel were condemned because they always invoke excuses from their duties rather than to be loving. Marami pa tayong dapat gawin at marami pa tayong pangarap na dapat nating matupad. Pero walang nararating ang mahilig magpalusot. Excuses do not save. Excuses just prolong evil. Excuses just prolong mediocrity. Love saves because love forgives. And love gives infinite opportunities. The Lord told us, love one another. The Lord did not tell us, excuse one another. The Lord told us, forgive as you have been forgiven. The Lord never tells us, you just excuse one another. You just say, tao lang. You just say, mahirap lang. You just say, nakalimutan lang. You just say, tinamad lang. You just say, marami pang dahilan. But there is only one that can save. And what will save the world, what will bring you to success, are not excuses, but love.